New tonight, some late details on the Chicago Public School students returning to in-person learning. Political investigator Dana Kozlov standing by live in our Streetside studio. Dana, the dates have been pushed back. Yeah, that's right, Brad. For all CPS grade schoolers, that is pending the approval of a tentative agreement reached by both sides just this morning. Now, the mayor and the head of CPS talking like it is a definite victory, but it is not a done deal. I'm just happy that we have a resolution <laughs> and that, that we from Chicago Public Schools CEO Dr. Janice Jackson on the possible agreement with the Chicago Teachers Union. If CTU members vote yes, and it's an if, K through 8th graders opting for in-person learning would return to classrooms over the next month. We need to give parents options, and that's precisely uh, what this tentative agreement does. But tentative is the key word here. If it passes, CPS pre-K and cluster teachers and students will go back to classrooms this Thursday, the 11th. Kindergarten through 5th graders would return February 22nd, 6th through 8th graders on March 8th. Corresponding teachers and staff would report back a week earlier than students. You have been champions is the mayor's message to teachers. The agreement also establishes metrics for a district-wide 14-day return to remote learning, triggered in part by a seven consecutive day rise in the city's COVID positivity rate, where the daily rate increase is at least 15% higher than the week before. If it does... For the next 14 days incubation period, let's pause, let's see where we are, and then continue to assess. So what next? The union's House of Delegates will meet tomorrow afternoon and they could decide whether or not to tell rank and file members to vote yes or no on this tentative agreement. Rank and file members expected to vote tomorrow night, but most likely on Tuesday. If they vote yes, the plan is set. If they vote no, well, that could trigger a lockout from Google Classrooms and that could also spark a strike. So still in a bit of limbo. Live in the Streetside studio, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Thank you.